What's up guys, welcome back to Modern Mining. Continuing the theme of getting everything prepped for summer, I've got three graphics cards that are running a little too hot, so I'm gonna be repasting them all today and showing you guys before and after temps to make sure everything went successfully and we should be prepped to mine all summer long. Let's get into it. All right, let's take a look at which cards I'm gonna repaste and what their current temps are now before the change so we have a reference point. The first one is on this gamble rig, and there's actually two cards on this rig I'm gonna be repasting. This 3060 Ti EVGA two fan, and this MSI 3060 two fan as well. You can see I've got my auto fan set to try to keep the cards at 60 degrees, and the MSI 3060 is at 100% fan, and it still cannot keep it at 60 degrees. This 3060 Ti is at 92% fan and it's sitting right at 60 degrees. So these two need to be repasted. And then on my coin generator rig, this 3060 Ti EVGA 2 fan as well is at 61 degrees and 50% fan speed. So it's hotter temp and hotter fan speed than every other card on this rig. Now, I don't remember ever having to repaste 3060 Ti EVGA two fan cards. I used to have a ton of those, but I'm thinking maybe these two that I got are just, were used a lot and the paste is dried up on them. But let's open them up and let's see what they look like. All right, got the card up here. Let's talk about supplies. I've got these uh, delicate task wipes. I saw these from uh, Red Fox Crypto. Thanks for the recommendation, man. Basically, these aren't gonna leave behind any like little strands like a paper towel would. And then I've got a cheap Amazon uh, screwdriver kit. This thing's awesome. I'll leave a link down below on Amazon for this one. And then some rubbing alcohol and some Q-tips. Let's get these out of the way. All right, so the only thing you wanna think about before you do this is it might make the resale value on the GPU slightly lower if you eventually go to sell it, but it really shouldn't make that much of a difference. And I'm probably planning on keeping these cards for quite a long time. So let's start getting all these screws unscrewed. Been, been a while since I repasted the card, probably 2021, maybe 2022. If I remember right, these EVGA cards are pretty easy to open up. So let's see, now we've got some smaller screws. curious to see how dried out this paste really is because I don't remember these cards ever giving me issues back in the day, but the two, two fan EBGA cards I have are the two that are giving me issues. So something is going on there. All right, these two have a bit of a washer on the bottom that's Got to remember that. Okay, let's stick these over here. All right, that was stuck to the back plate just with one thermal pad. Let's put that, mm, I'll leave it off for now. I need to work on taking this heat sink off. And looks like we have to do the bracket is the only screws I'm seeing. So let's get those off. These are even smaller screws. Well, that one went flying and I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it, so it's 
it's all right. We don't need three screws on that. All right, so I had to check a YouTube video real quick, but it looks like I got all the screws and now it's just a matter of will this thing pop off? And for some reason, it's really sticking. All right, there we go. Damn, that thing was stuck on there good. Okay. Yeah, paste was definitely very dry. Thermal pads look pretty good actually. And honestly, I'm not gonna switch those out. It ends up being a decent amount of money and I feel like I never end up getting a perfect thickness on the new one. So I generally don't change out the thermal pads, but we will definitely change out this paste. So let's just get a couple Q-tips and start getting this uh, cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, this is really dried on there. I mean, even with the rubbing alcohol, it's not really wanting to budge. I don't think this card I bought from another miner, I think it was just from a gamer, but kid must've been playing some serious games. got the plate clean okay that looks pretty good now let me go grab my thermal paste all right so I know there's a lot of debate on this but I'm gonna be using just a little Costco card chunk to kind of smooth this out I'd hate to go through all the trouble of repasting these and then have them have there be like a gap or void if I just do the dot in the middle and let it expand so I'm using MX4 Thermal Compound Arctic. I'll put a link to this on Amazon down in the description. Let's get a little dot on there. And go to town spreading that around. Yeah, that looks, making sure I don't have any voids, but. That looks good. So, set this aside and let's get this bad boy back together. Hopefully, let me make sure I don't have any thermal pads I need to rearrange a little chunk on that one. But. Otherwise, looks pretty good, so let's flip this back, try to get it perfectly aligned. Okay. So similar to putting your CPU cooler on, you don't want to tighten down one side all the way. You want to go in a circle, opposite corners. All right, those are tight. Let's get the rest of these in. Come on, little guy, there we go. Remember, these two are the ones that require a nut on the end, so we'll do those two last. Nice thing about this card was that we didn't need to unplug any of the fan cables or anything. You could just throw it, throw it open and no issues, okay? These ones might be a little more challenging. Let's see, this IO plate too. I need to put that back on first. Nice. Okay. Now for these ones, I need to be able to hold this nut on the bottom side. Most cards don't have this, so it's kind of interesting. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Same on this side, and then this one is done, and we'll be able to go test, see if it worked. 
There we go. Awesome. Okay. So this card is back together, repasted. Let's go see the after temps. All right, got it back installed. Let's turn this on. Fan spinning, that's a good sign. All right, let's go look at HiveOS. All right, back on the computer. Looks like we're mining again, that's good. Eight cards showed up. And whew, look at that, 35 degrees. We'll let that run a little longer for everything to kind of get heat soaked. But that was what? I'm trying to remember exactly what I said in the beginning of the video. I'll, I'll go back and post it, but all right, that's a big improvement. All right, got the next two cards up here. Let's do, let's just go ahead and knock this one out since we already know exactly what we need to do on it. These should be a little easier to pull apart because they were running Kapow, so they're, they were a little hotter and therefore the thermal pads and stuff should be loosened up and not sticking as hard. All right, now we should be able to pop this guy apart. Hopefully a little easier than last time. It's coming. Okay, nice. All of our pads are also in good shape on this one. Looks like maybe we had a little bit of ripping right here, but that's okay, it should go back together good. Paste is extremely dry again on this one. I mean, look at that. It's not even reacting when I touch it. So, let's go ahead and scrape this off. So I looked over all the rest of my cards and really these are the only three that are showing like serious differences from the other ones. That 3060 Ti 3070 Founders rig that I have and I've had those mining from the Ethereum days and then they took a quick hiatus when I sold that rig but now that I've had it back they've been mining for three months now as well. Those cards are all still doing awesome. So I'm not even gonna open any of those up until they start showing some serious temp issues. Okay, this one cleaned up quickly. Let's get a Q-tip and get some of that residue off from the sides. This one's much easier to clean than the other one. So I want to kind of spread this out a little bit beforehand so I don't have to do as much with the card. This might be the last one I do in this video. I'm about out of thermal paste. Somewhere I thought I had another one. I'll have to look. Okay, that looks good. Perfect coverage. If I had any less, I wouldn't have had enough to do that, but that looks okay. So let's just get this guy back together. All right, two down, one to go. 
All right, I can't find my other tube of thermal paste, so I'll see you guys in a couple days when I get some more in. All right, guys, it's been two days. Got some new thermal paste, and we will open up this last MSI card, get the paste changed on there, and then we'll check out all the after temps. While I was away, the dog got a hold of my uh, tissues, so they're looking a little rough, but they should still do the job. So I'm gonna flip back to the uh, up top cam and uh, we'll keep going. All right, GPU MSI 3060. Let's see if I can just pull this whole sticker off instead of just smashing it down into the screw. Okay. All right, how do we get this one open? Looks like it's gonna be easier than the EVGAs. It might literally only be four screws. Hey, there we go, that was much easier. This paste is maybe not as dry as the last one, but it's still pretty dry, so I think the dog may have ate my little credit card piece I was using. But luckily, I think this came with a little spatula, so even better. Let's get all that off there. If you guys have been wondering what happened to my hand when I was doing all that stuff in the garage, setting up that exhaust fan and everything, the whole project was basically complete and I was trying to pull some nails out of a two by four to put up against the window and the claw end of the hammer slipped off the nail and went literally underneath my skin. So this is like two weeks old and it still hasn't scabbed over yet. Probably should have gotten stitches, but I just didn't want to have to deal with that. Hoping, hoping it's not gonna be a horrible scar. Definitely some little chunks coming off it, but I think that's just from the old paste, not the tissue paper. Thermal pads look incredible. Maybe a little oil on there, but those look fine. Um, everything else looks good, so let's get this paste on there and then use my new little spatula to spread it around. My last tube of paste wasn't too old. The consistency of this one's like totally different. Like much more tacky than the last one. That looks good. Let's go ahead and seal it up. We gotta love those MSI cards. Four screws and you're good to go. I'm going to put this back down on the rig and then um, I'm on Pyron instead of Alephium now, but basically the temp should be essentially the same. Also, we'll go down and look at the ambient temperature since it's a different day, but it all, it's still about the same. So let's go check that out. Everything's spinning. All right, let's go into Hive OS. So let's take a look at those two cards that we just repasted i've run in kapow again it's been going for a few minutes and i've got the before screenshot right here so unfortunately it looks like they're either worse or no improvement this one's all the way at 67 now at 99 percent fan and this one's at 61 on 99 percent fan and then the last card was the 3060 Ti on this rig, the last one. And this one is at 60 degrees, which is hotter than all the other cards. And it's also a higher fan speed. 
So didn't really work as good as I thought, but I'm gonna put a clip after this of me kind of reviewing why I think it didn't work as good as planned and what I could improve. I also wanna look at this paste real quick and see is there if there's an expiration date because the second tube was way different consistency than the first one. That first tube had been sitting in my garage for since 2021. So it's experienced a couple summers in there and a couple winters in there. So a lot of temp cycling. I can't get the sticker off, but let's Google it real quick. Well, that's not good for unopened paste six and 24 months. And I'm talking about open paste here. Well, this makes me think that it's okay. So the ambient temperature is still about 77 in here. So that stayed constant. This rig's just now booting up. So as you guys saw in Hive OS, the paste really did not change the performance of that card, that card, or that card. And it definitely needed to be changed because it was super dry. But I think the biggest issue here is that, that all of these cards, my two fan somewhat weak cards, are on the very left side of the rig. And what this is doing is the heat from this back plate is getting sucked into that fan. Then basically two cards heats getting sucked into that fan, exhausted, exhausted, exhausted to where these two cards on the end are the hottest cards. And so if this gets bad enough in the summer, I probably need to make it so that my smallest cards are on the right side of the rig. Like this card is just sucking in freezing cold air compared to these ones that are here in the middle. And obviously when I turn these on, that will help a lot, but I still think that these smaller cards need to move to this end. And same with this EVGA card, probably needs to move to this end as well. So this didn't make as big of a change as I wanted, but it's still helping me get prepped for summer and I would have had to do it eventually anyway. So I think it was good to get it done and show you guys kind of how that's done. So. With that, I'll see you guys next time and peace out.